Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Which United States Supreme Court decision resulted in reduced power for state governments? The balance of power between the federal and state governments is a cornerstone of the U.S. constitutional system, governed by principles of federalism. The Tenth Amendment plays a crucial role in this balance, reserving powers not delegated to the federal government, to the states or the people. However, several Supreme Court decisions have impacted this balance, sometimes reducing the power of state governments. One key area where this has occurred is through the incorporation of the Bill of Rights into the 14th Amendment. This process has made certain federal constitutional rights binding on state and local governments, limiting their autonomy in these areas. For instance, the 14th Amendment's Due Process Clause has been interpreted to apply various Bill of Rights provisions to state governments. This incorporation doctrine has expanded federal oversight over state actions, particularly in areas such as civil rights and individual liberties. The Supreme Court's interpretation of the Commerce Clause has also affected state powers. Decisions like United States v. Lopez have established limits on Congress's power to regulate activities traditionally within state authority, but other decisions have allowed federal legislation to supersede state laws when Congress acts within its constitutional powers. The Enforcement Clause of the 14th Amendment, Section 5, grants Congress the authority to enact legislation to enforce the amendment's provisions. This has led to controversies over the extent to which Congress can regulate state actions and private conduct, with the court sometimes limiting Congress's power to only remedying violations of rights already recognized by the courts. In summary, Several Supreme Court decisions have reduced the power of state governments by expanding federal oversight and limiting state autonomy, particularly through the incorporation of the Bill of Rights and the enforcement of the 14th Amendment. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.